I did some research and I'm gonna show you how you can train and build just like they do on her. Try new stuff. Try new stuff. If it doesn't go to plan, you can always scrap the idea or work on it later. Hermits will take a lot of time to get their base right in creative worlds before they even put it on the server. I think it's important to share that sometimes building doesn't always work out. On Hermitcraft, you often see these perfect buildings pop up, but what you don't see is the dozens of failed designs that never make it onto the server. So if it doesn't look right or something's wrong, give it a chance, maybe take a step back, and then when you come back to it, it may look better. With any large-scale builds that they do on Hermitcraft, they'll always have a wireframe, mostly for mountains and large terrain bases, but wireframing is a key part of building for the Hermits. It's very useful for mapping out and getting an idea of your build. If you want to see some tutorials on how to do this, I'll have a card on the top right there to a link to some of my uh, tutorials that will show you how to use wireframing and such for stuff like mountains as you see right here. And wireframing in general is just super useful and helps with a large scale build. So definitely learn to use this as a tool for large scale builds and it will make it so much easier. Hermits are good at a lot of builds. They make new stuff each season. So if you want to train like a hermit, that's what you need to do. You need to get a large, large repertoire of builds you can make good. Not just, yeah, I can build it and it looks okay. It needs to be good looking. These people build nice looking builds of a ton of varieties all the time. If you want to be good like them, you need to learn that variety. Stay committed. One thing all new builders fail at is staying committed to building. It may take a while until you're good at building. It took me a couple of years of training to get where I am, which isn't the best, but it's something. The majority of the Hermits have been playing for at least 7 years, respectively. Exumavoid has at least 9 years in Minecraft. Even with all this knowledge, people still give up on building. It's not about knowing all this stuff, it's staying committed to a build. It's not giving up, it's not giving up on building. Learning to build takes a long time, it's not an easy task. But if you stick with it, it will become easier and more enjoyable. So stay committed to building. And if you enjoy building, it shouldn't be hard to do that. Take advice. Hermits get advice and help from other hermits all the time. Look up some videos, do some research on how to build better. Any improvement is good, obviously. So if you can get help from other people, definitely go for it. Just have fun. Building is a fun thing to do. It shouldn't be a chore or some daunting task you don't want to do. All the hermits love and enjoy building and that will help a lot when you go to build something. If your heart's not into it, it will show in the build. Minecraft is a super fun game and building is even more fun. So it should stay that way. If it becomes a chore and you force yourself to do it, then it's not fun. And then your productivity and your efficiency at building will drop significantly. You've seen it on Hermitcraft all the time. It's in all of their builds. They use a lot of gradients. Now what gradients do is they give a lot of depth and detail to a build that you generally don't get with conventional ways that newer people build with. For example, here's one build I made using this gradient right here. It's kind of like an ice cliff. I have a video if you want to go see how to build this. It will be linked on the top right in the description as well. I have another use of gradients. I use this gradient on this wizard tower that we have here. And I'll be posting a video in the next couple of weeks or so on how to build this exact wizard tower. So if you want to see this, make sure you stick around the channel and such to see when I post it. But as you can see, the gradient adds so much to this build. Even if you back up, it still has that obvious color change from bottom to top, and it looks amazing. Here's a little close-up of it, get a, a good idea of what I mean. And as a little bonus, if you want to copy this gradient, here it is. Oh, it's raining. And as a little bonus, if you want to use this gradient, here it is right here. Go ahead and pause the video if you need. And then here's the one for the ice one. And then here it is on the builds again. So definitely start making this a regular part of your builds. And they'll just look so much better. And yeah, after my week of research, I think this is the best way for you to train like them. Now obviously there's going to be ways that they build better. Natural talent, experience, there's a lot of things. But this could possibly be the closest you can get to building like them. 
So, don't give up on building, don't give up on training yourself and getting better and better. And if you want to watch some more videos to help you get better at building, there's some right here. Right here on the left side of the screen. You probably can't tell with me waving, but it's right there, yep. Yep, right there. Go ahead and click it, yep. And I guess you can go over here too. All my videos are here. They're pretty entertaining, I think. And yeah, have an amazing day. Much love.